Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and I'm part of the Fashion Girls. All right, so today um, you have me. Uh, Stacy will be doing some videos on a week or two that she has. Um, we are, the subject for the today is, we're going to talk with some coffee about wigs. Okay, now for, I guess for everyone that was thinking the thought of, I hate my hair, I have hair loss, I have whatever, chemo, medical, other medical conditions, have thought about doing or getting a wig. And some just like to change up their hair because they don't have the volume or whatever. Okay, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about my issues that I have with my hair and what it can do to kind of your self-esteem. Because I know there's days that I would like to go places uh, with my sister or just, um, you know, go or go to church or, you know, and you get, now we're in the middle of this, which is supposed to be spring starting. Um, this weather, this crazy, crazy weather where, where it's so unpredictable, it's going to do something and then it doesn't. Then like, I want to go somewhere and Yes, I'm a procrastinator when it comes to washing and blow drying my hair. I used to be a cosmetologist years and years and years ago. I mean, like 25 years plus years ago. And I was so tired of doing my hair and things like that. Other people's hair, you know, I, I wasn't in it long because I got ill with um, asthma and other allergies. So I couldn't stay in the business very long. Um, I was, did it for about four or five years. Um, so I got into doing wigs about two years ago. Uh, my, my mom used to wear wigs. Um, and I'm not afraid to say she used to wear the Gabor wigs were famous back in the seventies and eighties. Um, and she wore a few wigs because of her same situation with hair loss and same thing. You know, she wanted to go out somewhere. She didn't feel comfortable. Okay. So it's, I guess what it is, if you want to venture into wearing wigs, um, and I know today, believe me, I know today money's tight. You know, all the bills, I'm just checking my computer, sorry. Um, but money's tight today. Like, you know, everybody's trying to just make ends meet. There was a company I found um, a long, long time ago, and it's Paula Young. Um, which is on the front of my book here, which is Polly Young Wigs. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen advertisements, have seen books around, what have you. Um, you know, okay, everybody thinks because they're, quote, very reasonably, or they people call them cheap price, they're kind of in between. Okay, but they also carry other name brand wigs. They have other affiliates. Okay. But back to Polly Young. Polly Young, you can buy wigs that are on clearance from $29.99 all the way up to the hand tied and the human hair wigs, which reach a little over $100. You have a very vast um, range. So I would say or suggest to you, number one, get yourself something that you might like from get yourself a Paula Week catalog, go on the website, paulayoung.com, and you'll be able to look on chin what kind of styles you're looking for, what hair color, um, it will give you a complete 360 view of the wig. And yes, it is true. A lot of times the wig does not look on, like the same thing when it's on you. If you go on there, I have, it looks, 
I have a round. My, my face is round. Okay, like a round shape. They have in there a guide what kind of wigs to look for. If you have a round shaped face, uh, a, a, like a squared off look. Um, they have, uh, you know, like longer faces. They, so they'll give you an idea of what kind of wigs that you could look for. Or look for something that's close to your hairstyle. This is what you want to do. Look for something first, if it's your first time wig, look for something that's close to your hairstyle that you have now. So don't go, if you're wearing short hair, don't go long hair. You'll regret it. Okay. Get something to what is closer to your hairstyle that you have now. All right. So let me take a drink of coffee. I'm drinking out of Carlos, who is Cake Boss. Um, which we were in his little cake shop uh, at one of the casinos that we were at. And I'm drinking chocolate cherry coffee, which is delicious. Okay. So that is the best advice. Now, you're saying to yourself, I can never go out and wear a wig in public. Yes, you can. It's that first step. The f Actually, the first step is. When you get it home, style it the way you kind of want to style it. You're, you know, as you know, with your fingers, what have you. Okay, look at the picture. And if you're going, I hate this wig. Don't just say, don't count it out right away. Wear it around the house. There are tons of videos. If you go on, I have a video out um, on my YouTube uh, channel which is uh, San under Sandra Myers. I will leave it at the link at the bottom. If you're watching me, you're on already on my channel. Uh, so uh, Stacy and I, the fashion girls, which Stacy is my daughter, and she also wears wigs when she, you know, when she likes to wear them. Um, there is one called First Time Wig Wearers, and it's a video on my very first wig I ever bought called Finley. Now, Finley is discontinued, and I have her here. I will pop her on for you quick at the end just to give you an idea, but there is a whole video around, around her, okay? And as far as hair colors, get as close as your hair color or go a little drastic. I used to be blonde. This is actually light. Um, this is, I think it's, let me see, I think it's, it's number 27. Yes, this is a wig that I have on. This is 27 Light Auburn. And they have it in a little bit darker called Medium medium Auburn. Okay. So, this is what I'm saying. How, you know, if you didn't already notice that this wasn't a wig, yes, it is. It fits me perfect. When I first got this wig yesterday or two days ago, actually two days ago, I thought this is a little too short. I hate it. But guess what? This is how short my hair is right now. This is my hairstyle. Yeah, almost the exact same hairstyle. Not color. Color, my colors grow out really, really fast. My color is between a brown and a red together. But it gets almost this color red when it starts fading out. Okay. And this is light auburn. All right. So. Let's go on. Let's go to the wig. Like I'm saying, you need your, you need self-esteem. You will get over wearing them outside to church or to sh grocery shopping or for a walk or what have you. You will get over that. You need the self-esteem to actually walk out of the house with it with confidence. Don't act like it's a wig. Okay. So. All right, so on to the one that I have on. The one that I have on cost me, actually cost me $39. They had a special in the book, okay? Um, if you sign up, you'll get books. You can look online. Uh, this one here, 
Uh, this has a good try it thing on back with a promo code. Um, it is... If you order by April 22nd, 2023, they won't bill you until 5-7-2023. It expires 4-22-2023. So, which means that you can order two, three weeks, what have you, until I think like two, three, you can try them on. Okay, until um, the time frame before they charge you. As soon as you try them on, if there's something you don't like, please, please get them back immediately. And the only thing they might charge you or take off of you is the shipping and handling. Okay, but you'll be able to try those two, three wigs on, however many that you'd like to order and try on for really at at no cost, at, at zero, you know, at no cost to try on. And what you don't want, you can keep the one and they'll just bill you then um, in May and send the other ones back. So it's kind of neat because you can get like two or three of them styles, try them on, see what you like, what you don't like, get them back as soon as possible because their processing on the returns take quite some time to make sure that they're processed back before that time frame, before they would charge your credit card. Okay? All right. So, can, we're just going to hang on for one second. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. Okay. So, that would be a great offer for you to try, okay? So let's get to what I have on because I still have my little tag. When this is one very important thing, when you get the wigs or wig that you want to try on before you decide you're keeping it, do not take the tags off. There is a tag attached here. Do not take that one off and don't take this one off and try and send it back. Once you do that, they will not give you your money back. So please do not take these tags off. Don't take these tags off unless you're gonna keep them. The one that I have on today that I'm showing you is number 27 Light Auburn. It is called a cool cap. This is Casey. Now, when I first got her, I thought, oh, She's too short. I don't know if I really like her. You know, it shows her it shows on the side. I'm going to show you the picture on the back of what she looks like. Okay. This is Casey. So now if I put this here to here, that's pretty much what she looks like. Okay. Now. If you're not sure of colors, I got, I had asked and sent for swatches. You can ask for swatches in blondes, in reds, in whatever color that you're interested in. And I'll show you, it's really hard to tell because in the middle of the book starts all the swatches, your color swatches, or the color swatches are online. The best thing that I like to do, I like to go on YouTube, punch in Polly Young wigs, either the name of the wig or the color of the wig, just to see what it, I love to see what it looks like on other people sometimes before I even order one. I don't have that many. I own five wigs in my wardrobe. This is just the fifth one. I had some that were bad choices. But Stacy and I had some. Stacy had some that she didn't like. She had a girlfriend um, that unfortunately um, has cancer. Um, she's going through treatments, lost all of her hair. She had beautiful long hair. So Stacy and I donated wigs to her. Even if she didn't want them, she was going to give them to other people that possibly could use them. 
that were going through treatment. So we did that. Sometimes ask around, there are agencies around that will, that will take them off your hands and do that. So some of them were, were given to us by companies um, and some, you know, we just, we just didn't like. So, okay. All right. So, Cool Cap, I will show you that. Cool Cap is a design. It's how the inside of the wig is breathable. And I will get it more into that. Uh, when I, you know, when I take it off, okay, because I'm going to take it off then and I'm going to show you exactly why I wear wigs, okay, and that'll be at the end because I don't want to wreck the whole theme of what it is, okay, so what you want to do, um, the other wig that I have is Finley, which that was my very first wig. It was discontinued. Okay. That was regular. They have different types. There's VersaFiber, which is heat-friendly fibers. There is um, the Cankalon, or Cankalon, Cankalon, which is the name of their fibers. There is Whisper Light fibers, which that's what this is. This is Cool Cap. I believe this is Cool Cap Whisper Light. Let me double check. Uh, cool Cap Construction, Cankalong Fiber. Okay. It's Cool Cap Construction. It's the Cankalong Fiber. It has permatease. It has open ear tabs, which are right in here to let you put glasses and glasses on. Okay, they're on basically every wig. Um, and again, I'm not gonna go through on how to put one on and all of that because if you watch the first time wig weather, wears Finley on my channel, I will go through all that for you. Okay, um, and Yeah, and it has a little bit of permatease, which is right up in here. Permatease is right here. And that's to give you lift. That's to give you lift so that it isn't so flat. Um, you can do lots with this wig if you want to. Okay, so Cool Cap Casey in here was $59, okay, I bought it in another book that was $49, plus I got, I ordered, uh, like, a few little, like, accessories, like, um, another, uh, band for underneath for the wig, and you'll see what I'm talking about later, um, and I ordered a brush, they also have accessories, Paula Young, I ordered a like a nice little brush for shorter hair, okay, um, and a few other things, because over $59, you got the $10 off, all right, so, the measurements on this wig, which is your, your crown, okay, the measurements on the cool cap, Casey, yes, this is Whisper Light, it's Whisper Light, cool cap, Casey. So it's the finest fibers that you can get that feels like your own hair. And it really, really does. Okay. Um, let me see here. The length is two and a half in the front. The sides and the, the upper back is three inches back here. Okay. Your top and crown is three inches. No, wait. It's two and a half inches front, sides, here, and upper back. Okay. It's three inches at the top and crown, which is right here. That's this right here. That's three inches at the top and the crown. And at the nape in the back, it's, it's two inches back here in the nape. 
So it does, you have good coverage back in here. Okay. And that's the size of Casey. Now I was a little worried about that size because other wigs that I have aren't um, really this short. Okay. They're a little bit longer. All right. So. Cool cap. Cool cap is when temperatures rise, reach for one of our exclusive cool cap beauty wigs. Ultra cool, ultra comfortable. They make it easy to look and feel fabulous as you beat the heat. Designed using an ultra lightweight breathable cap and our exclusive airy whisper light fiber. The innovative cool cap construction allows air to circulate and wicks perspiration away from the scalp so you stay cool, itch free and fresh, even in the warmest weather. Unique wigs offer unparalleled comfort year round and even more so in the summertime. Pretty poolside, beautiful beachside. Be sure to pack one on your next getaway. Stacy and I do we do uh, cruises, we go to Florida a lot, we go to Disney. This would be your perfect way to go to places like that. I personally don't swim in a wig. I know people do. I can't speak for them because I normally don't do that, okay? It's nice if you're just gonna sit poolside or relax poolside. All right, so I normally don't do that. Now, the cold cap, Casey, they're showing here is in that, in that gray color. Sorry, I'm not into the gray, but I guess I'm trying to defy age. Um, I'm just not a gray kind of person. Okay. But as far as looking at Polly Young for wigs, and like I said, this is the picture of Casey. It's on sale right now for not the cool cap. She Casey comes in cool cap, VersaFiber, rooted, and she also comes in just the regular, um, yeah, the Whisper Light Casey. All right, and right now she's on sale for $39.99. And if you like, I can give you the promo code um, down at the bottom. And that will give you that, if you like Casey, that will give you the opportunity to try it and not get billed until May. So you, if you like, okay. Free shipping um, until... Okay, plus buy now, pay zero till May. However, there is a cap. You only get free shipping if you order $59 or more. Plus buy now and pay zero until May. Okay, so why not order two wigs? Then decide which one you want to keep. Send the other one back. And then when you do send the other one back, the only amount you're going to lose maybe is shipping and handling. You're not going to get charged. You're not going to get charged for them. But I still believe I could be wrong. You have to, you can always call them a double check on the shipping. Let me see. Uh, free standard shipping and processing orders of $59 um, with the promo code. For billing. I'm not quite sure on that, but you'll have to check on that. Um, and they do not take prepaid credit cards, by the way. I learned that the hard way at one point in time. Okay. So Casey, I love her. This is Auburn. This is actually light Auburn and they have dark Auburn. Okay. I will show you the back of her. I will turn around. This is the back knee. She's nice and sleek back here. She has good coverage. The coverage goes all the way down here. The only thing I didn't like about Casey at first 
I brought some of my own hair out from underneath to make these a little bit longer because these were short. I thought these were a little short. So some of my own hair goes down here. So it's blending in. Okay. And again, you can fix her and you can, you could probably go like this and spike her up if you want. Um, you know, you could brush her. I use my fingers a lot. You could brush her down straight like that. Um, there's all different ways you could do her. Okay. Get your fingers in there. Get it moving. You want to break some of that permatease up. You could take pieces and spike some pieces out if you want. You know, you can make her a little spiky. I like the little bangs and how I did that was, well, let me see here. I picked this up like this, with this, and I brought some bangs, the bangs down and I brushed them cause I like them down like that. Put this here. And that's how I brought the bangs down. Now, if you just want to wear her on the side, you can wear it on the side. You can take some of these and you can just put these to a side. You can take the whole thing. And you can brush them to a side. Now, there's she's going to have fringe. They don't call them bangs anymore. They call them fringe. And you can just have a light fringe like that just off to the side Let's see here just off to the side like that so if there's a day i don't like bangs i can just put her like that and do that with her i like i like the bangs so that's why i just pick it up bring those little fringes fringes down Okay, and you have your little bangs. So she's a nice little lightweight, airy, a nice little lightweight and airy uh, wig. Buy yourself one of these picks. They're plastic, they're nice and gentle. Okay. Some of it out a little bit like that, and that's that's how I wear, wear, you know, just like that. So, yeah, so this is cool, Cap Casey, and she's gonna be cool in the summer. And I think she's a cute little wig. At first, like I said, I didn't like her, I thought she was too short, I didn't like the way she looked, but then. The more that I started, I put her on and I started to fool around with her, I liked her. So this is Cool Cat Casey by Polly Young in Light Auburn. Now, I'm going to take her off and I'm going to show you. In fact, I'm going to go get it. Oh, by the way, when you get it, you'll get it in a nice little box to keep it in. She will come in the netting. Please keep the netting to put her back in. You will also get a sanitary cap to put on. I do not have one on, so everyone, please don't criticize me for it, only because I'm keeping the wig. So that's why put the little um, cap on over top of your head before you put the wig on, because that's for in case someone else would like to try it on, and that's for sanitary reasons. Plus, you get a nice little card. It'll say, shake it first after being packaged. So that's what you want to do. You want to shake it to wake up your wig and to get it natural looking for beautiful styling. And a few shakes will separate all of those fibers. Um, and that's what you want. You want to separate the fibers. Now. I'm going to take Casey off since we're kind of done talking about her right now. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to post something and I will show you my issues. So I'm just walking right over here and I'm getting my very first wig that I ever got to try because I wasn't quite sure. You know, I watched and I wasn't quite sure on what I wanted. So I'm going to take my glasses off. Now, I have a problem keeping my wig slip up the back because the issue I have is I have a very small or flat, I should say flat, occipital bone, which is at the base of your skull. And that's what kind of keeps your wig from slipping up the back. Well, when you have a flat one, I'm taking, I have taken a bobby pin. You should get two bobby pins in your box. Okay. Where I, what I did with the other one. Okay. Let's see here. Where I even stuck it. So I know there's one in there somewhere. Okay. Well, I'll find it when I'm ready to take it out. All right. The reason why I put them in is because I have a habit of it slipping up the back. All right. So I put one of these little, they're by Goody, old fashioned little clips. And I put it right in the middle in the back on the bottom. So it does, the wig doesn't slip up right up. I don't have a problem going this way. I have a problem coming up because I don't have that bone that does that. So I'm going to take this off. I got another bobby pin in there. Okay, and I'm going to show you what it means by this is my wig cap that, or my wig band, I should say, that always falls off my head. So maybe I did only have one in there. If not, I'll find it or I lost it. Probably did. No, it's in here. Okay. Be very careful when you're doing that. All right. So, and I'll show you wig bands then. So I'm going to put my glasses on. Okay. And like I said, I'll take these off. Now, this is what she looks like. Okay. I should have my, um, my form out here, but I didn't bring it out with me. Darn, I should have, but that's okay. All right. So this is kind of what she looks like. The fibers are nice. It sh kind of shows you what the color is. All right. And cool cap, the inside of the construction. This has a nice lace cap at the top, and that is very lightweight, soft, cool. You'll see, you'll see the wefting. The wefting is what you want to look at. The closer the wefting, the better you are because the wefting is nice and close. That means that there's more hairs, more wefts put in for coverage. Okay. So now you saw for how only how, how, for how short this is, but the coverage was still good. All right. All right. So I'm going to put that over there for now. That was Casey. Now, when I said to you, a lot of you people that are, are already my subscribers. This is how thin my hair is. It's getting pretty, pretty, pretty bad. And right here, if you can tell, I have. I'm getting bald. Right here, there is a big bald spot. And it's starting right in through here. It's starting here that I don't have bangs. So if you see some of my other videos with my own hair, you'll see what, you know, that it's, the haircut is kind of close, but I try to keep these a little bit longer because I just call it for all shameful reasons. <laughs> So this is how bad my hair is getting. All right. So this is called a wig grip. 
this does not always work for me. As you can tell, I think it's getting a little stretched out now because I have a tendency to pull it too big. This is by Milano and it's a wig. It's called Milano Wig Grip. And um, it's by Milano Company. You can get them on Amazon. I get this color because I'm wearing red. So I want this to show kind of underneath. And how you want to put this on is, now you can always, 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 always. Now I'm gonna try and put these back a little bit this time. Okay. You can always wear a wig without a wig grip and just use a little wig tape a piece here and back here, which sometimes I do to hold it on if it's gonna be a really, really long day and there could be the possibility of it, you know, just like splitting. When you wanna put this on, if you get this Milano wig grip, you wanna put this tab right here kind of by your temple. You wanna put this around the back of your ear, underneath your hair, get all of your hair that you can. If you have longer hair in the back, take it and pin it up. So you take this, you put it underneath your hair. If you have short hair like I do, what I sometimes do is take a little gel or a hairspray and I will push it up and spray it before I put the wig grip on because then now you don't want to put this, I think I have it a little too tight. You don't want to put it too tight. You want to put it under that occipital bubble. Yeah, excuse me, occipital bone. Okay, there. So because you'll wear it out. Now, mine, again, here's about where you want to have it. Close right here to the ear part. You want it right here. And that way, this will grip to your hair. It's not moving right now. Although again, mine slips up the back, okay? So now this one is Finley in the same color. It's light auburn. This was my very first wig that I ever, ever got from Paula Young. And I've tried many since then, believe me. Okay. So this, she is also uh, considered a whisper light, which is very fine hair. The construction inside is about a little bit, it looks like it's a little bit different because it's not the cool cap, okay? This is your plain, regular whisper light wig, all right? You'll see this little band. This this is the nice coverage area that goes in the back of your head. So that's a nice coverage band. Okay. Then in the front here, or I'm wrong. Oh wait, let me double check here. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This is your nice little band that's in the front. Okay, so this will go right here in the front. This is your back. I knew I was wrong. This has the little Velcro tabs, okay? So you can adjust your hat. Your, the hat, what I mean, adjust your wig, okay? So measure your, measure the circumference around your head. If you go on Polly Young, it will show you, there's tons of videos to show you how to measure. 90, I would say 95, 90 to 95% of people take average cap. There's average petite and there are a few in large, very few. This is an average and I, that's what I take, an, an average. Would I try a bigger cap? Probably not, it would be too big because you want a nice good fit, especially at the crown. Okay, so it has the little Velcro tabs. It has the nice, comfortable coverage in the front for here, okay? So, 
let's put this on and how you want to put the wig on okay is you want to hold it from the back and you'll here's your back where your tags are here's your front where there are nice coverages first you want to shake her out a little bit this is my very first one this was finley so you want to just take her and shake her and you're what you call you're waking up those fibers you're waking up the fibers all right so you want to take her from the back you want to grip it from the back and you kind of like want to dive into the hat i know that sounds strange but you want to kind of like dive in like this and you want to take this and pull it down over you you're holding the back you want to put it down over that wig grip okay I always hold it there with one hand. I take this and I pull it. So I kind of lift it and lift it up to your hairline. Now that can always be adjusted. Okay. Then there's two little tabs. There are wire tabs in the bottom here. On each side, there's two wire tabs. You want to take them. You want to get them by your ears. And I always push a little bit. They bend. And that's how you have your wig on. So it's not hard. It's not rocket science to get it on. Okay, now this is Finley. So I'm going to put my glasses on here so you can see what I'm doing because I didn't put my contacts on today. Okay. I'm straightening her out. Let's see where I'm at here. Okay. These have the nice little long angled sides. Always, if you have something that's, see, I'm using my fingers to kind of like wake her up a little bit. If, if you want to like something sticking up and it stays sticking up, you just want to take your hands, hold them there, go like this, hold them there and it'll, keep them there and the warmth will tame it down now i'm gonna just do this these have the little wispies which i love 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 that was one of the reasons let's get the brush because it's a shorter wig and a brush will kind of like lift those fibers even more See how I'm just going like that to lift the fibers. So lift it up a little bit. Now, where you want this is this could come up a little bit more to right about there. Okay. see it there i want to put this down here i'll take my fingers up like this okay okay so there you go. This was Finley. If you're fortunate enough to find another one around somewhere, look online. Now there is another Finley out there, but it's longer. It is not the Paula Young Finley. Okay, I believe there is another Finley on Paula Young site, but it's not this one. This one was discontinued. I think I bought this one for $19.99 on clearance when I was looking for a wig. And that's what I'm saying. If there's something that you want to try for a first time wig wearer, do that. Because this was the very first one that I ever bought to try. I didn't have a whole lot of money to spend. I didn't have a whole lot of money to spend to try my first wig because I didn't know if I would like it or not. And this is the one that I bought. This is Finley. It's Light Auburn by Paula Young. If there's 
something else out there. There might be something close to it. Okay, and this kind of does asymmetrical, but you have the both ends on each side. I will go around and show you the back. The back also has good coverage there. It goes right to there. Okay. I'm sorry I don't have the measurements to this, but this was the old Finley from Paula Young. And this is tw number 27, Light Auburn. Okay. And as you can tell here, it covers nice on the sides. Coverage there. And I liked, this is what drew me, the cute little fringe. And again, for me, this looks very, very, um, this looks, it looks as natural as you're going to get. I think it looks very natural. Um, I don't know. You could bring this down. Someone had asked me one time, I know you can bring it down farther like this, which sometimes I do. Sometimes I take it all the way back. Someone said, can you get bangs cut in it? Yes. Before you would do anything, I don't know. They might, might have to, you can steam them up to a point. I wouldn't do it on my own. I would take it to... Um, your hairdresser. Okay. And that's what I would do. Because like some wigs you can alter, some wigs it's really hard. Unless they have what they call like a um, mono lace top or front or lace front that it doesn't matter which way you do your parts, that kind of thing. This is mainly to go to part on the left and come like that. And that's kind of like the way I like to wear it, kind of like this. And sometimes I bring it down a little bit more. But, and it's lightweight. It's cute for the summer. These I normally wear, you know, for the summer. I have one or two that are other ones. I have another video. It's Karina. And, um, she is from Aesthetica and I kind of like to wear her in the winter time. Cause when you see, the, if you go on and check that video, you will see, I might do another video again to show you her because she is available under wigs.com, which is affili an affiliate of Paula Young. So you can look uh, for her, uh, and her name is Karina. But this is Finley. This was my very first try a wig. So get something. Get something that's close to what you're used to wearing. Was I always red? No, I was a blonde. And I have a wig, actually two wigs. And I'm going to do another video. Her name is Tori. She, uh, that I have, she is a totally different color. So check out the other video. When I post that one, it will probably be after this video that I do. Okay, so just not to confuse you, this whole, 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 whole video was to tell you a little bit about my journey with hair loss. It has to do with stress, fibromyalgia, which I have, medication, and it just getting older. I turned 62, so I'm losing my hair. Um, so that's the reason why this was my journey on the starting some wigs to go out. And sometimes I'm just too lazy to do my hair. Now you saw how fast that was to pop this on in the morning if you're going to work. And that's it. You don't really have to do much to them. Okay. So this was, this is Finley. This is no longer available through Paula Young, but the one that I shown you at the, had shown you in the beginning was Casey, cool cap Casey. And she's just adorable. I, I love her too. I didn't at the very beginning, but I really, really liked her too. Now, if you go in the book, 
there is one that's that is close to this that I'm wearing close to Finley. Um, some of them are asymmetrical. So go on and check. Um, you know, I'm not going to say what's exactly close. Um, Victoria, it could be one of them. Um, I was trying to flip through to see. You know, check in there for yourself what would be close to the old Finley. Um, remember what the number was. But go through. There's tons of different styles. And take take use of that. Try those three or four. Try three wigs. And see what you like. Maybe the color's not right. Maybe the style's not right. Send them back. And it's not really going to cost you anything. Okay? So, again, this is Polly Young's Finley. And the one at the beginning was a uh, cool cap ver um it is the uh oh i want to say it's not versified it is cool cap the whisper light and this is whisper light fibers so if it says whisper light it will be the closest thing you can get to your own hair a lot of people ask me about human hair you can try wigs that have human hair problem is it's like human hair so if you get out in the winds or the rain the snow the what have you it's gonna go flat just like your own hair these will pop right back in to where you started whether and i've been out in the rain with them and believe me i can tell you the honest truth that's what it does it pops right back in okay so that's it for today so we reviewed our nice little our Casey and this was Finley which is discontinued Casey's still in the book okay and give Polly Young a try they're not super super expensive um they're within your budget and if you don't like it you can send them back for a refund just do not take like I told you before, do not take these tags off because once you take these tags off, it tells you what this product cannot be returned once this tag has been removed. So do not remove the tags on them. Okay. All right. So I'm Sandy and I hope that I wasn't everywhere with this video. I hope that I taught you a little something about wigs. The design inside is there. There's all different kinds of caps out there i like the poly young caps i like the velcro if the velcro ever wears out before the wig you can go in there put a couple little stitches in there and that will stay exactly to where you want it all right so they're very easy to take care of if you have any questions you can contact poly young uh contact them you can get there is wig shampoo out there you can purchase off them um I'll, I use the wig, the hairspray to keep some things in check if I'm doing something a little bit different with my hair. Um, there is a wig wax. Polly Young does not handle it. Um, I'm sure you can go to your local salon and they would have something like that. But again, please don't alter. Don't alter these wigs yourself. Because once you alter them, it, you could really mess up your wig. If you want to do something with it, consult your, your stylist. And I'm sure she'll be happy to direct you um, on how she could put bags in it for you or what have you or if it can be done. All right. Okay. So I hope I helped you a little bit. Sorry, my own hair looks so messy today. Usually when I do it, it doesn't look that bad. But let's face it, with the weather, I've been lazy. So I might even just wear a wig to work, church tomorrow. In fact, I might even wear Casey to church tomorrow. So I'm not sure. Okay, so I hope at least I could help you. Help you. And just remember, it's the confidence of walking out of the house and saying that, 
wig what wig if someone says to you oh i love your new haircut or i love your new color just say you don't have to say oh, it's a wig if i know the person i might whisper to them oh it's just one of my wigs if not if i say to you oh i love your new hair hairstyle i think it looks great on you just say oh thank you i'm glad i i i appreciate it thank you very much you don't have to tell them about this. it is a new hairstyle you're not lying it is a new hairstyle but it will give you the confidence to keep wearing wigs it will it makes you feel better inside it makes you feel better about yourself and you get to try all different kinds of hairstyles that you want don't let anybody judge you you do what you think makes you look and feel better for yourself okay i'm 62 yeah there's a lot of times i take a lot of criticism and it's not from family it's from other people i took criticism for a long time from people that i thought were friends or girlfriends i took a lot of criticism on a lot of things how i looked my hair whatever don't ever let that happen to you. As long as you look and feel good for yourself, that's all that matters. Okay? All right. So we'll talk again. And there's more wig videos to come. So I'll talk to you soon. I'm Sandy. And I am part of the Fashion Girls. And by the way, please don't hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like, and the notifications, and you'll be able to get to see everything that we post. Stacey and I greatly appreciate it. Okay? So thanks. From the Fashion Girls. See you again. Hope you'll like my video. Bye-bye.